Hello, hello. My name is Akos and welcome to my channel, Akos Where You At. This video is a quick tutorial on how I reverse speed on my videos using Premiere Pro. This effect gives a slight edge to a very static YouTube video and it's also pretty easy to do. So watch and leave your questions in the comment section down below. Let's get started. All you really need to do is find the clip that you want to reverse the speed for. Just right click on it. Make sure that it's highlighted and then you'll see a pull down menu come up. Look for the one that says speed duration. Once you click on speed and duration, there is a little box that you can click on to reverse the speed for. I will do this a few times in this video, so definitely don't worry about it. You will see it several times being done. Also, this is probably the easiest function that you can do just to give your video just a little boost um, in Premiere Pro. Messing around with the speed, either speeding it up or just reversing the speed helps a lot to just give your video just a little oomph in it. When you are recording something and you ultimately know that you want to just reverse the speed of it, all you have to do is hold the item. So for example, in my video, I'm holding the mushroom, right? Hold the item and then just drop it down from your hand. Either drop it on the floor or drop it to the bottom of your your other hand that's not holding it if that makes sense so you have one hand holding the item and then another hand off screen at the bottom where you can't even see that hand drop whatever item you're holding into the hand at the bottom of the screen after you do that and you bring in your video to edit it will be so easy to reverse the speed because you've already set it up for that so all you have to do is reverse the speed by clicking on it highlighting like I said before and when you reverse the speed it's going to look like you're catching the item in your hand rather than dropping it on the ground so you just reversed whatever action you did before you can also do this with just people moving around for example if you wanted to do a vlog of people walking in the airport after a while that gets a little boring so if you just wanted to reverse the speed of people walking backwards and then you change up the pace of your music that would be perfect using this effect for it's also great if you want to set up something like a flashback type of scenario so I have a video on my channel it is the very first vlog that I ever did of me surprising my parents for Christmas I'll make sure to include the video in this clip too so in this video I reversed the speed of me coming home and did everything backwards onto like how it led on to me coming home and surprising my parents from China for Christmas so by reversing the speed I could have I was able to like do almost like a voiceover flashback type of deal going on see how easy that was It's just a little slight change that you can make and it will enhance your video greatly I love to use this effect on let's just say um, like cooking videos it makes like a very not really boring but it makes a very static cooking video have a little bit more of an effect to it I also love to use this for vlogs with like just seeing human movement and seeing it reversed backwards um, I also use it for let's say you have like a hair video and you just want to reverse the speed of you waving your hair that works too make sure to leave a comment below if there's anything else that you would like to learn to do with Premiere Pro again I am NOT an expert with Premiere at all I've worked with it for years with my old job but there is still a lot of things that I have to look up and figure out on my own I will definitely do my best to answer your questions or let you know if I'll be putting out a different video for it and also let me know if you like these type of videos so I'm not really just wasting my time <laughs> let me know if this is helpful for you and I will do my best to continue to upload things that I learned along my Premiere journey and learning how to use Premiere Pro for myself I will be placing these videos in a playlist on my YouTube channel so please make sure you are subscribed and look for the playlist that is named editing and setup playlist so as I make more of these videos I'll make sure to put all of them in one easy to find location so make sure you subscribe head over to my channel's playlist and look for that thank you and again if you are interested in more comment below let me know specifically 
what you want to learn with Premiere because it will be easier that way if I know maybe a specific effect or a specific thing that you want to do that makes it a little bit easier. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for watching this whole thing with my horsey raspy voice right now and yeah I'll see you later. <laughs> Share and subscribe. Let all of your friends know to come check out my videos. I have tons of videos on this channel, so please check it out. And thank you for watching. I usually post every Tuesday by 3 p.m. if life doesn't get in the way. If it does, then it's just going to be extended. But if not, I usually post on time every Tuesday. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.